Hey, what's up NFL nerds? We're back with another 2019 NFL tier list. So today we're going to be doing the NFL quarterbacks. Now before I get into this, uh, I, want, I want to remind you all to go and subscribe. Uh, like the video if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, now I also want to remind you on this one, I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter than the previous tier list. Uh, since those had gone over 30 minutes, the end of the video had kind of cut off a little bit on those, and I just want to make sure that I'm able to get, you know, everything that I need to say in this video, but I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter, so let's jump right into it. So, Aaron Rodgers, I wouldn't quite put him at elite. I'm going to go ahead and put him at great. Now, the reason that I'm doing that is, yeah, if we're talking, you know, all time or based on his career, yes, he is an elite quarterback, but... Based off, you know, how he's currently performing, no, he is great. Maybe even just good. He had a very much down year in 2018, if you ask me. And I just, I don't think he's all that great anymore. Um, Andrew Luck, I would have to say he's elite right now. Um, he... He turned that team completely around. You know, they were, you know, completely losing team and they they t they turned into one of the toughest teams in the NFL. Um now a lot of that is their offensive line. They went from one of the worst offensive lines in the league to the best offensive line in the league, only giving up 18 sacks and not as not very many pressures either. Um but Andrew Luck has performed phenomenally, and I don't think it's much of a stretch to put him at elite. Um, Andy Dalton, I'm going to put him at below average. I don't like doing this because Andy Dalton, I don't think he's really all that horrible of a quarterback. Um, but when you have weapons like A.J. Green, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon, you know, guys like that... You know, you should be able to, you know, make more plays. And, yeah, a lot of their downside is their defense. You know, their offense is pretty underrated. But just stat-wise, I don't think... <clears throat> I don't think Andy Dalton's really all that great. Um, Baker Mayfield, I'm going to go ahead and put him at good. I was kind of on the ropes of putting him at great, but we just haven't seen what he can really do yet. You know, we've only seen one season from him, and yeah, it was phenomenal, and now he has more weapons, but I think we need to see more from him before I can go ahead and put him in a great tier. Um, Big Ben, this one, I'm going to put him at great, but... He is honestly performing very close to an elite quarterback. You know, he led the league in passing yards last year and th threw for a reasonable amount of touchdowns too, but he also threw some interceptions and, you know, some, some, some key interceptions too. Um, so, and c c keep in mind, guys, this, this, uh, this tier list, is going to be based both on their 2018 performance and how I think they will do in 2019. This isn't based off their career. Um, if it's based off career, then yeah, obviously Big Ben would be elite. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put Cam Newton also in great. Um, I think, I'm trying not to say this as a biased Panthers fan, but I think... Cam Newton, you know, when healthy, is one of the most dominant players in the NFL. Um, now that he has, you know, a good offensive line, I think he will stay healthy. And I think he'll... I think he'll surprise a lot of people this year, you know. There's a lot of people that hate him. There's a lot of people that love him. And, you know... I, th I, th I, th I think he'll have a good season, and I think he's considered great. Carson Wentz, I'm going to go ahead and put him at good. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to say about him. I know he doesn't have 
all the best weapons. You know, yeah, he has Zach Ertz, but he doesn't have that many receivers. Well, that 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 many like good receivers. And uh, I know I know it's not really fair to base the quarterback based on you know how his receivers are, but I mean, if he's not. I mean, even, even Nick Foles was performing better than him. He saved that team quite a bit. So, I mean, I, I, th I, think, I think Carson Wentz is good, but not quite great. Dak Prescott, I'm going to say good as well. He, him and Carson Wentz, I think, are very comparable. And... To be honest, I see Dak Prescott getting better and better, and I see Carson Wentz kind of staying at the level that he's at, maybe even declining a little bit, but that's just me. Um, Derek Carr, I'm going to put him at average, you know, I don't think I have much to say about that, you know, we all kind of know he's average. Um, he's capable of having good seasons. But he's also capable of having very bad seasons. So I'm going to say he's average. Deshaun Watson. I was very, I was on the ropes with this. I don't know where, where they put him at, gr at good or great. I'm going to go ahead and put him at good. Um, now, he, I see him getting better each and every year. And honestly, he probably will have a great season next year. Well, this year. You know what I mean? I just I don't I don't know what to say about him. He is very much on that middle line between good and great. Are we able to actually put someone like on that? No, has to be like yeah, it has to be in the tier. Okay, but uh, yeah, he's 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 getting better each and every year. I think honestly, I think eventually he'll even be considered elite. But for now, I think I'm gonna put him at good. I'm going to put Drew Brees is great. Um, I see him slowing down a little bit. Age is catching up to him at least a little bit, whether we like to admit it or not. And he's just not quite as explosive as he was before. So, um, I'm going to say right now, I'm going to put all of the starting rookie quarterbacks in average because we haven't seen really what they can do in the NFL yet. Um, now, yeah, one of them could fall the below average. You know, they could they could make it up to good. It, it just depends on how they do. But since we haven't really seen much of them, I think I'm going to put them at average. Um, Eli Manning, it hurts me to do this, but I'm going to put him at below average too. He's had weapons and just hasn't been that phenomenal of a quarterback and uh I get a lot of that's their offensive line's fault and yeah he really is a great you know all-time quarterback but the past couple years he just hasn't been that guy anymore I I, th I think he's very very much falling and considered one of the you know currently one of the worst quarterbacks in the league um, yeah, that's, that's kind of all I have to say. I do think later in the season, I think Daniel Jones will take over. Uh, Jameis Winston, I'm going to put him at average. He, we've seen it. He's capable of having, you know, good games, but he's also very capable of having very bad games. Um, I think it's going to be a big prove it year for him. You know, if he doesn't perform all that well, I think he's out of Tampa Bay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think, I think he's, I think he's honestly about as average as you can get. Jared Goff, I'm going to put him at good. Now he had a very good season, but it's kind of only one really good season. Um, and look at the weapons he's had around him. I think this will be the year where we decide whether he's, you know, just one of the good quarterbacks or whether he's, you know, truly a great quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo, 
I know 49ers fans are going to get mad at me for this, but I'm going to say he's average. Just like the rookies, we haven't seen much from him. Um, now, yeah, the stuff we have seen from him, it's been impressive. He's been, he's been very good. He's shown his talent, but we haven't seen enough of that from him. You know, we haven't seen a full NFL season from him yet. We don't know really how he'll do under a lot of pressure. Um, and I, I think it's reasonable to put him at average. Joe Flacco, I'm also going to put him at average. Um, he hasn't really been that explosive, good quarterback that he used to be for the Ravens. The past few years, he just hasn't really done a whole lot. Um, I think he could potentially have a pretty good year with the Broncos, but... I could also see him having a not so good year. So I think it's reasonable to put him at average. Josh Allen, this is kind of more of a bold prediction, but I'm actually gonna put him at good. Um, in my opinion, honestly, I see him being better than Sam Darnold. Um, I think he has more potential. He can throw, he can throw a good ball. He can run. He can make plays. That's He's the type of guy that the Bills have needed. And, you know, I think he's getting better and better. I think he's going to have a good season. Josh Rosen, I'm going to put him below average last year. You know, I know last year was his rookie year, and it's kind of hard to base it off, you know, one year, but... You know, he was about as average as you can get, you know. Actually, well, quite a bit below average, you know. He really wasn't all that great, and I know there wasn't much to be excited about on the Cardinals team, but he just wasn't able to make a whole lot of plays. I'm going to put Kirk Cousins as average. I almost put him at good here, but... Well, and... To be honest, I do think he'll have a good year in 2019. I think he'll work up more chemistry with Adam Thielen, Stefan Diggs, and Kyle Rudolph. You know, even Dalvin Cook. But, um, since, well, because even in, even in Washington, he was a good quarterback, but he didn't have the weapons. He performed pr pretty good his first year in Minnesota. But now that he has another year under his belt and, you know, can work up more chemistry with with his guys and everything, I think he'll have quite a bit better of a year. So, I think, I think after this year we can move him up to good, possibly even great, depending on how he does. But for right now, I think he's considered average. Lamar Jackson, I'm also going to put him at average. I know there's been a lot of people um, hyping him up, saying... You know how much better of a passer he's been. Um, we all know he's fast. We all know he can run. But until I really see that he's grown that much of much as a passer, you know, as far as I concern, as as far as I'm concerned, they have a running back for a quarterback. That's just that's just my opinion there. So, um, Marks Mariota, I think I'm gonna put him below average. He, he has had talent around him. It's going to be a very big proof at year for him because now he has more weapons around him. If he doesn't have a good year this year, there's no excuses. I honestly think Ryan Tannehill will take over as the quarterback and will honestly lead them to a few more wins. I think, I think Marcus Mariota is very overrated and... You know, I just don't think he's, you know, all that great. You know, he does have talent. You know, what? Well, okay, on the Titans roster, there are weapons there. There are a lot of weapons there. And if he doesn't perform well this year, he's out. That's that's just my opinion there. Um. I will say I think Matt Ryan is an elite quarterback. I think he's one of the most under... Where did he go? Okay. I think he's honestly one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the league. 
Yes, saying this as a Panthers fan, he is a phenomenal player, a big piece for that Falcons offense, makes it one of the most explosive offenses in the whole league. I don't think it's unreasonable to put him there. Matt Stafford, I'm going to say he's good. Um, I don't know that I'd quite put him at great, but even though he hasn't really had, you know, a whole lot of playmakers, you know, the past few years, he's still been able to put up, you know, multiple 4,000 passing yard seasons and at least make plays. He's a very tough quarterback. He can make plays, you know, out of nothing. And now that they have, you know, a bit of a run game, he could even have a better season this next year. But for right now, I think I'm going to put him at good. Mitch Trubisky, I'm going to say the, literally the exact same thing. I'm going to put him at good. Literally the exact same things. You know, only, you know, he hasn't really put up 4,000 yard seasons. But I see him getting better and better. And I think he's getting better each year. Nick Foles, it's hard not to put him at great because, you know, he's turned around that Eagles offense so much and won so many games for them. You know, it's hard not to put him at great. He's very much on that line there. But I think we do need to see a little bit more from him and see if he can do the same type of thing with the Jacksonville Jaguars, you know. With the, with the, I'm going to say not so great weapons that the Jags have, whoa, that the Jags have on offense. If he can make something out of that too, I won't question that anymore. I will consider him great. But for right now, I think he's good. Patrick Mahomes, he's elite. We don't need to say much about that. We all know he's elite. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, Philip Rivers, I'm going to put him at great. Again, he was almost considered elite. He had a very good season. Um, has some very good weapons. And I, I wasn't sure where to put him here. But I think great is a good spot for him. Russell Wilson, I think I'm going to go ahead and put him elite. This was very tough for me here. I didn't know whether to put him at great or elite. But... 2018 was very, very good of a season for him. I think he'll kind of keep that up in 2019. I think he'll still be, you know, a good explosive player like he is. And I think he will still be considered an elite quarterback. Sam Darnold, I'm... I don't know whether to put him at average or below average. I think I'm going to put him and put him at average. I'm going to give him the benefit of benefit of a doubt and you know now that they have some weapons I think he can at least perform a little bit better you know win them a few more games but I don't know that I necessarily start calling him good you know I think he'll I think this next year I think he'll honestly be about as average as you can be you know he won't be the worst quarterback but he won't by any means be the best quarterback Tom Brady I'm gonna put him at great Again, obviously, if this was all time, he would obviously be elite. He's one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Um, but currently, I see him slowing down a little bit. I think he fell to the great tier. Um, but anyways, guys, this is my tier list for the NFL quarterbacks. Let me know what you think about this. Um... Leave me your opinion in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Later.